Hi there, we're going to take a little review of uh, part of a lesson that we do in the level one class in InDesign. And this is in your uh, CIB books or your classroom in a book books that you received in class. And I'm on page 240 and we're just going to look a little bit at creating and applying table and cell styles. So I actually have the 09 start document open. I'm on page 240. Uh, I'm on the first page and I'm viewing it as fit uh, page in window or fit in window. One of the first things I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you go over to page two so you can go over to pages and double click on the icon for page two and we'll take a look at this. Then I'm going to zoom up on the bottom uh, fourth of the page here and this is a little table that's situated in this document and we are going to format this up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up under the uh, window menu. I'm going to come down to type and tables and I'm going to pull up my uh, table panel and I'll use that in a few seconds to uh, work with formatting the table. Both the table panel and the menu item up on top uh, menu item table will have all the options that we need to work with this table. Um, if you're not familiar with tables, there's actually a chapter in the book on chapter 11 uh, going into more detail on how to create tables and modify them. We're just going to apply some styles or build some styles and apply it to this table. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have my text tool or my type tool and I'm going to highlight the first two cells in this table. T and finish T. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to um, go up to table to um, cell options and I'm going to come over to strokes and fills. And I'm over on page 241. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the cell fill at the bottom here to a color that's already in my swatch panel and I'm going to pick up the cyan for color down here and I'm going to click OK. So it actually fills it with this kind of a light yellow and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually save this as a cell style. So now I'm going to go over to my uh, t panels I brought up before and here is table, table styles, and cell styles. So all of these are in this grouping here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm building a cell style for the header row. So I'm going to come over to the pop-out menu, I'm going to press here, and I'm going to come over to New Cell Style, just like I would for a paragraph or character style. And I'm going to go ahead and name this um, Table, it's been a long morning, <laughs> Table Head. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to um, give this a, uh, maybe, I could give it a shortcut, I wrote, I'm not going to though. Uh, I could come down here and here's something unique. Within table and cell styles you can pick and use paragraph styles you have built into your document to format up the table a certain way. So for the header row I have, um, I'm going to use a paragraph style that already has been built called head 4. And that's going to apply that formatting to the text within these uh, header row cells. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click OK. So now I have a um, cell style called table head uh, and we're all set. Now we're going to do the uh, actual, what I'll call the body rows of the table. I'm going to highlight the next two cells below it, white and soft grayish white. And I'm going to make a cell style out of this. So with those two cells selected, I'm going to go right immediately over to the cell styles panel. I'm going to go to the pop-out menu. I'm going to come over and I'm going to create a new cell style. And what we're going to do here um, is give this a name of table body rows. So really the only thing I want to use or build and apply in this style is adding this paragraph style to format up the type. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to use a paragraph style I made up ahead of time to put inside of here. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to pick table body. 
And again, these are styles that I've made up prior to coming into this lesson or the, the people who created this training file did. So I'm going to click OK. So now I'm going to save and I have um, two uh, cell styles. I'm going to take those two cell styles and I'm actually going to put them into an overall table style that we're going to build here in just a second. And um, it's kind of like nesting character styles into a paragraph style, but it's actually even a little bit easier. So now I want to format up the table with a certain style. So what I've done is I've just clicked once inside my table. I haven't selected anything. I just clicked inside the table. So I'm going to make an overall table style. So now I'm over on page 243 in the book and I'm going to create a table style. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, apply uh, a look to the overall table and then also apply the table body rows and the table head cell styles. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come right over to my panel and switch over from cell styles to table styles. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do a pop-out menu. I'm going to do a new table style. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to give this a name of T table. I'm going to come down to the bottom here and this is unique where we can nest quote unquote the cell styles into here. Now we did make up a cell style that we can use in the header and that was called table head. We also made kind of a body row character, I mean, excuse me, we made a cell style called work with the body row so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to apply that table body rows. Now in addition to that, what I want to do is um, over on page 244, I want to set up a alternating row of color within the body row so it makes it a little bit easier to read. So on the left hand side, I can actually go in here and start applying uh, or adding effects to my style. So I'm going to go over here to the upper left and I'm going to pick uh, fills. And I'm going to come over here, it says alternating pattern, none. I'm going to switch that to every other row. The first color over here on the left hand side is already at black. We're going to change that. We're going to come down to cyan 4, the same color we used before, but we're going to use a kind of a tint of it. So I'm going to put in about a 30% tint. So it's going to be a, a lighter version of what's already going to be applied in the header row. And then over on the right hand side, I'm going to keep the color as none. So it's going to go this tinted uh, yellowish color, then none, and back to the tinted yellow color, alternating rows within here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to save one more time. And the cool thing is now what I'm going to do is since I have my cursor just clicked inside the table, I can apply an overall table style. So let's go over to the uh, table styles panel and just click on T table. And there you go. Beautiful looking table. Uh, header row is up with a cell style. The body rows have this alternating fill applied to them. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, one thing we can do is we can say, well, maybe I want the first body row to be none and then the second row to be that lighter yellow. Well, you know, we can just double click on T table in the table styles. We can go into fills. And one thing I can do here is it has a little item here called skip first row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on preview and I'm going to skip the first row. So that forced my table now for the alternating pattern to start with none and then go to the light yellow. And I'm going to click OK. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over on uh, page 3 in the dock. And there is a small single column table here. So I want to apply the same style to this. And it's really easy. I'm just going to click inside of it. Come over to T table in the table styles. Click on T table and then it formats this up with that same type of look. Now this doesn't have a header row so it goes in there and applies only the body uh, row styles. 
and you'll learn more about that if you look at lesson 11 or um, come to class and we go through a lesson 11 we'll explain about header rows and different things and tables and how we can do that so there's just an overall uh, look at how to build uh, some cell styles put them into a table style and then apply that table style and remember now you can um, open up a new document and you can say I want to bring in that table style into here remember just like all the other styles you can go over to the style itself like table styles go to the pop-out menu and come over here and load and in this case we're loading table and cell styles from another document we just pick this uh, we go and find the the actual lesson or excuse me the actual InDesign file that has that style built into it in this case it was our 09 start and I just pick it I open it and here's the styles I click OK and of course those styles now here's the T table style if I go over here to cell styles we have our two cell styles here so I hope that helps as you um, start to create styles for tables have a great day